Hey guys, in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, sample problem for application of maxima and minima. So this is another application of differential calculus. Okay, this is taken from the book, uh, Differential and Integral Calculus by Love and Rainville. So yung mga sample problem natin for calculus are taken from that book. So in this problem, we have a lot has the form of a right triangle. With perpendicular sides 60 and 80 feet long, find the length and the width of the largest rectangular building that can be erected facing the hypotenuse of the triangle. Okay? Now, the first step in solving uh, any problem in calculus okay, is to identify what is required. Ano yung hinahanap natin? Then, when you are dealing with um, the application of differential calculus, you should always draw or illustrate the figure that is uh, stated in the problem. Okay? So, dito, masabi natin that we have here a lot has the form of a right triangle. So, we can draw here a right triangle. Drawing tayo ng right triangle. Ayun. So, right triangle ang lot natin. So, this is at 90 degree angle here. Okay? Now, uh, sabi dito, uh, find the length and the width of the largest rectangular building that can be erected. So, maglalagay tayo ng rectangular building inside of this uh, right triangle that is facing facing the hypotenuse. So, it looks like this. Okay, ganito siya. So, this is um the uh, largest rectangular building that can be erected but the question is what is the length and the width of that rectangular building okay the dimension of our right triangle okay this is 80 feet here so by scale na to naka scale na siya mas mahaba dito so 80 feet and dito is 60 feet okay now let's say uh, that this uh, length of this uh, rectangle here itong rectangle nito Say this is uh, y, say this is x, okay? So, there are a lot of dimensions na hindi given, ano? We have here, let's say ito. Let's say z na lang. Itong length na to, here, from this portion to this portion. Okay, let's say this is z. Then, uh, let's find the dimension of this, itong portion na to. So, this is also x, here. Okay, but this dimension, hindi natin alam siya. Now, to get the dimension of this in terms of x and z, okay, relating x and z, we can find the uh, hypotenuse of this right triangle. So, using your Pythagorean theorem, so we can say that this hypotenuse here, let's say c, so uh, c squared equals, so we have here 60 squared plus 80 squared, right? That's the hypotenuse. So, C equals the square root of uh, 60 squared plus 80 squared. So, that's just equal to uh, 100, okay? So, this is 100 feet, okay? So, therefore, if this is 100 feet here, itong abuwan niya, this is 100 feet. Therefore, this remaining um, portion here is 100 feet minus x minus z okay 100 minus x minus z okay now in order to get uh, the relationship between x and y ang gagawin natin is to uh, use similar triangles so ito is right triangle i ano natin to i i redraw natin yung right triangle dito so this is looks like this Okay, so this is a Y, this is Z. Okay, so this is right triangle here. Then we can also redraw this triangle here. Uh, this is, this looks like this. So right triangle siya, yung uh, kanyang uh, length here is 100 minus x minus z okay so ito this length here itong length na to this is y 
Okay? Ilagay lang natin or itama natin ang orientation niya para mas maintindihan natin on how we can actually use the ratio and proportion. Okay? Using the ratio and proportion, we can say that y over z is proportional to since ito, this is the, let's say, the height of this triangle. So, that is 60 then. 60 over 80 using this triangle. So, proportional sila. Also, I can say that um, 100 minus x minus a, okay, all over y, is also proportional to 60 over 80. So, it's very important to... Uh, uh, draw the proper orientation of those triangles. Let's go to uh, finding the equation relating x and y. Okay? Let's find the relationship para marduce natin. So the next step is to actually, after you draw and you uh, find the relationship, i -re reduce natin siya in the two variable equation. Meaning, meron tayong variable on the right side, meron tayong isang variable then on the left side of the equation. Okay? Using this. Uh, relationship we can reduce this okay y over z so therefore we can say that z z is equal to okay we have here 80 y over 60 so ano lang uh, algebra natin to so multiply z both sides this becomes y equals uh, 60 over 80 z okay then so you divide this both sides by 60 over 80 so it reduced to this z equals uh, 80y over 60 or you can reduce this into 4 third okay 4 third y now let's go to this uh, next next relationship so from this equation here say that 100 minus x minus z equals uh, 60 okay 60 over 80 y so multiply y to both sides okay this reduce to we can say that this is 3 fourths y okay now let's just substitute the value of z to this equation reduce natin siya in a two variable equation so 100 minus x minus z so z is 4 thirds y equals 3 fourths y okay then we just simplify this so we have here 100 minus x equals uh, 3 fourths y okay 3 fourths y plus 4 thirds y so we just add 4 thirds y to both sides then we just simplify this this becomes 100 minus x okay this is equal to so 3 fourths plus 4 thirds so 3 fourths plus 4 thirds times y here then you just simplify this 3 fourths plus 4 thirds so 3 times 3 so that is 9 okay so 4 times 4 that is so plus 16 all over so 4 times 3 that is 12 okay so this is y so this simplifies to 9 plus 16 so 25 over 12 y okay therefore we have here 25 over 12 times y equals 100 minus x so divide 25 over 12 to both sides so this becomes y equals we have here 12 over 25 times 100 minus x okay we have reduced this to a two variable equation then next uh, we are required to find the largest rectangular building so the largest rectangular building has the largest area so, yung area na ng building natin should be x and y, okay? So, x times y. So, length times width. Okay, ito yung building natin. I-orient natin siya, no? Into this orientation. So, horizontal. So, the largest building should have the largest area. Okay? So, therefore, yung area niya is A equals x times y or length times width. Okay? Therefore, we can say that area equals, so, x times y. Yung y natin is 12 over 25 times 100 minus x. Then we just simplify this. So area equals so 12 over 25 times we have here 100 x. Okay. Minus x squared. 
then we maximize or minimize the area so maximizing in or minimizing the area gives us the critical points those critical points are your lengths of those triangles so differential of a is equal to 12 over 25 times you have here 100 okay 100 dx minus 2x dx okay divide both sides by dx this becomes da over dx equals we have here 12 over 25 times 100 minus 2x okay then next step is to uh, equate differential of a with respect to x to zero to find your max or min so in this problem it's indicated the maximum siya so no need for testing for maxima or minima so zero natin siya so zero equals so 12 over 25 times 100 minus 2x so therefore we can say that uh, we can uh, divide both sides by 12 over 25 so this will uh, basically cancel out so 0 equals 100 minus 2x so therefore 2x equals 100 so divide both sides by 2 so x is 50 so therefore x is 50 feet okay going back to the relationship of x and y we can find the length of your width which is y so y is 12 over 25 Okay, so y is 12 over 25 times 100 minus x. So y equals, so 12 over 25 times 100 minus 50. So this is 12 over 25 times 50. Okay. So y is equal to, so basically this is 12 times 2. So 50 over 25 is 2. So, y is 24 feet. Okay, so those are your maximum lengths and width. Okay, so that's how you solve maxima and minima, guys. So, uh, see you in my next video. I hope that you have learned from this tutorial. Thank you, guys. See you and God bless.